I'm like, can I open the door? <laughs> We're so sore, we can't open the door. <laughs> Hello. Hi. How are you feeling today? You know, good, feeling good. a little... A little tired. A little tender. Mm. A little bit. In the legs, upper bod. <laughs> kind of this whole region. That means it's working. Yeah. A little yeah. bit of soreness is okay. Yeah. Right, we'll work it out today. We'll warm it up a lot. So, day two. Are you ready? Ready as we're going to be. <laughs> uh, ready, yeah. All right, so today is a full body sweat session. So yesterday we focused more on strength exercises, really building that strength. It was more consistent pace. Pretty today sure I sweat yesterday too, though. <laughs> yes, that's a good. It's all kind of intertwined, but today is definitely gonna be higher intensity, a little bit more metabolic. So we're gonna lift our weights a little bit faster today. Okay. All right? Okay. My heart's already racing. <laughs> okay, so let's get warmed up together. You can just okay. follow along with me. At home, you can follow along with me as well. So let's move down to the ground. We're gonna start on all fours, shoulders stacked over hands, hips over knees. You're gonna send opposite arm and opposite leg for bird dog. You can keep your neck in a nice neutral position, looking towards your hands. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. Try and keep your core tight so you're not arching your back. You wanna stay flat like a tabletop. Good. And keep. squeeze the butt for this. I mean, I just squeeze, squeeze all that the time. booty. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Here we go. Keep it going, guys. At all times. I'm just clenching the whole time. <laughs> Three, two, one. Let's stay right here. We're gonna move into cat cow. So have your eyes look towards your hips. Raise your upper back into cat, and then slowly raise your chin and eyes towards the sky. Roll the shoulders back or step back for cow. We're gonna be here for 30 seconds. So at home, this is really a great exercise for thoracic mobility. That upper back area tends to get really tight on a lot of people. So this is a wonderful exercise to help get you warmed up, loosened up. Three, two, one. Let's move to our feet. We're gonna start getting our body temperature up with our power primer here. We're gonna be doing scissor jacks. So scissor jacks, are a little bit of a funky way to do jumping jacks. So instead of our feet going out like normal, our feet are gonna shuffle back and forth, but we're gonna keep the same arm motion. Okay, so you can follow along with me, just like this. Yes, that's great. It takes a little bit of coordination. If you find that this is maybe a little bit too much, you can just go right into regular jumping jacks, just like this. Good. These are harder than regular ones? Yeah, well, it just creates like, it's a little bit different than what people are used to, so it's really good to wake up the CNS, so like the central nervous system. Yeah, So a little bit of a mind-body connection here. Oh. <laughs> 10 more seconds, here we go, scissor jacks. Make sure you're landing softly on the balls of your feet. Wait, so is this the workout now? <laughs> In three, two, one, let's transition right into squat jumps. So we're gonna have our feet shoulder width apart, bend at the knees, send the hips back, chest tall, explode to the sky, land softly on the feet. Here we go. Follow along. And at home, if you need to modify, one great thing that you can do, go onto your toes, squat to toes. It takes away the impact if you tend to have knee problems or if you have a neighbor downstairs who doesn't like noise. <laughs> Should I drop those hips back a little bit? Keep that chest a little bit taller like you're sitting in a chair. Ooh. There we go. Oh, okay. Yes, we're three, two, one, give me two shakes, and we're moving right into ice skaters. So we're gonna start on our outside leg. We're going to hop laterally, stick the landing, back and forth. Go ahead and join. I just thought we were doing a demonstration. Go ahead and, there we go. Go ahead and join, everyone. <laughs> now, if you need to modify, a great thing you can do, step side to side, keep that chest tall, keep your legs under tension, just like that. Look how beautifully in unison. We look like figure skaters. Yeah. <laughs> yes. This is a really great way to wake up those glutes, get those legs going. <laughs> Keep it up, ladies. Here we go. Land softly, stick that landing, explode. Three, two, one. All right, so take a quick drink if you need to. I'm going to set up our next block, which is called an EMOM. This stands for every minute on the minute. So what this means is every minute on the minute for six minutes, you're going to do a circuit of two exercises. 
So when the minute begins, you're gonna start exercise one, go right into exercise two at your own pace, and then when you finish the exercises, you have the remaining seconds of the minute to rest. When the clock hits zero, zero to begin the second minute, then you start the circuit again. We have six total rounds. We can do it. Okay. You got it? All right, so I'm always gonna give you at least 15 seconds to be able to rest. So even if you don't finish all the reps, I'm gonna tell you when the time is, so you have 15 seconds to rest before the next round begins. Okay. Okay. okay? All right, so let's start with the first exercise. What I'm gonna have you do, um, you can just watch me for a second. Oh, I'm great. actually gonna have you grab your heavier dumbbells. I'm gonna Honestly, challenge you guys. the demonstration part is my favorite, and I know it is your guys' too. <laughs> this is the best, okay. So what you're gonna do is have your feet shoulder width apart. You're gonna bend at the knees, send your hips back. Elbows are gonna stay tall with, the shoulder, or with your dumbbells on your shoulders, just like that. It's like you're sitting back in a chair. If you need to modify, you can lower your weight or you can just do body weight squats. The second thing that we're gonna be doing is called jump lunges, which you're gonna do with your body weight only. So you're gonna start in a split stance, 90 degrees on both sides, and jump into a, or a lunge on the other side. Make sure you are landing softly on this, and if you need to modify, we're just gonna go right into reverse lunges. This is a great option if you have more joint problems, more knee problems. And one thing that I'm gonna be looking for is that you're not stepping back too far. Sometimes it's easy to do that. I want you to be at 90 degree angles. It's gonna make it a little bit more tough on the glutes and also great form. Any questions? I'll be the modified model for you. <laughs> you're welcome. Perfect. All right, so I'm gonna have you grab your heavier dumbbells. Ooh. And we'll go down if we need to, okay? So we well, have- I should've started with a five. <laughs> okay. We have 10 reps on each. And you're gonna go at your own pace. Ready? Yeah. All right, let's get started. Bring those up to your shoulders, feet shoulder width apart. Let's get started in three, two, one. 10 reps right here. Make sure you are breathing. And again, if you need to modify, you can lower the weight or you can go into air squats. Wanna make sure that we're having great form each and every rep. Here we go, keep going. Really drive through those heels. Here we go. All right. Keep going. Keep going. Keep, did you get 10? Yeah. Okay, great, then go into the next one. And right into the jump lunges, we have 10 total reps. Here we go. Here we go, here we go. And remember, if you need to go into reverse lunges, yeah. you can do that instead. There we go. How many did you do? I don't know. All right, and rest, so we're at 45 seconds. <laughs> Okay, so now we have the flow. Do we'll tighten it up a little bit. We're gonna do 10 reps on each. Okay. So 10 is just like one, one two, two yes. three. Okay. All right, grab your weights. Three, two, just... one, curl it up and hit it. 10 reps right here. There we go. I'm gonna come over. Yes. Sitting back in a chair, send those hips back. Here we go. Chest tall. Here we go, Steph, this is good. Good, get those 10. Keep it up, keep it up. Good. All right, let's go into those jump lunges. Shay, I'm gonna have you go right into reverse lunges. Great. Okay, so we're gonna be right in here. There we go. I'm gonna narrow your stance too. Short, yes, right there, right there. So you want 90 degree angles, that was a little bit too far. There we go. Oh my gosh, these All burn. Right. And rest. Uh, 15 second break. Okay. okay, so shake those legs out. Deep breath here. We're gonna grab our heavier dumbbells again. In three, two, this is a slow, three seconds, and one, let's go. There we go, give me 10, right here. You can do this. Four. This is where you gotta dig deep. We are almost halfway through this. Okay, if you need to modify while we're the weight, do body weight squats, but I just want you to keep moving. Oh. All right, this is where you gotta dig deep, ladies. Oh. Here we go. Okay, okay. Shay, keep doing those reverse lunges. Yeah. Keep that narrower step. Steph, I wanna see those jumps. There we go. Get in as many as you can before I tell you to break. That looks so much better, Shay. Keep it up, keep moving. Ah. Good. Here we go. And rest, okay, good. So we have 15 seconds right here. We're gonna go right back into our front squats for round four. Oh. I like that little dance. You should definitely dance. <laughs> get it done. Feel free to get dance done. at home in your breaks. Exactly. That helps you get through it. All right. What do you got to do? Three. Okay. Two. 
One, curl them up. Ten reps right here. Ooh, that was yeah, she's doing extra. That she's doing awesome. extra. She's after those results. <laughs> Good. <sighs> Good. So these are so important. These are really going to help you strengthen your quads. You're going to get a little assist of glutes if you really, really squeeze and engage. Right here is where you really want to focus on mind-body connection, that mind-muscle connection. When you're really paying attention to the forms on your rep, you get so much more out of it. Let's hit those lunges. Okay. Let's go. Here we go. Keep it up. Good. Nice. Yes. Great angles. Keep moving. We only have a couple rounds left after this. Keep it going, you're doing great, Shay. Nice work, nice work. And great, oh. we have 15 seconds before we're starting our second to our last round. Oh. You can do it, right in here. Okay, Deep last breath. one of these, right? No, two more. All right, and two more, three. Two more, two more. Two, more. two and one, let's curl them up. We have 10 right here. All right, let's keep this form, keep the solid form. Let's move a little bit faster. We only have this round and one more round left, so really, really push it. Then you get more reps. I'm taller, I have like more area to go. Oh. You do have a long way to travel. Oh, Tall way. people problems. Okay. okay, nice work, Steph. Get right into those lunges. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Tall, good. Here we go, make sure you're landing softly each time. Let's keep those it going. So hard. You're crushing it. Couple more shake. Here we go. Nice. Uh, Woo! Nice. All right. Last round. One more round. So here, this is where we really need to dig deep. We want to go a little bit faster, maintaining good form. Okay. Five, four, three, two. two. Last one. 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 Last Let's one. It. Here we go. Keep that chest tall. Sit in that chair. This is our last round. This is where you really gotta go. Keep it going, keep it going. Really focus on your breathing. Big deep breath. Exhale on your way up. Good. There we go. Oh, yes. Last set of lunges. Here we go, here we go. Let's hit it. Last set right here. Let's finish fast. Let's finish fast. Good step. Keep it going, Shay. Let's keep it going at home. We're oh. almost done. Last one. Almost there. Oh Here we go. Yes. God. Nice work. Absolutely. All right. If you're at home, oh. you have another few seconds to rest. Nice job. That's oh. not easy. That's not easy, but you did it. Okay. So grab a quick drink if you need it, if you're finished. If you're at home, we have three, two, one, and you are officially done with this block. So grab a drink. I'm going to set up our strength and sweat circuit. So this, we're my friends, you. you got this. We're here. Just, just sit up, back, okay. catch your breath up. because you're gonna need it for this round, okay? So for this circuit, we're gonna be doing four different exercises for 30 seconds each. We're gonna be doing three total rounds, yes, okay? You get a 30 second rest after you finish the circuit. The first one that we're gonna be doing is called a squat clean to press. This is gonna be really a full body exercise. So you're gonna start with your feet about shoulder width apart, Dumbbells in a firm grip in your hand. You're gonna squat down, pulling your body towards the ground, hips back, chest tall. Drive your hips to bring the dumbbells to your shoulders. Squat, then drive your hips again to get the dumbbells overhead. So you're really doing two squats. I'll show you again, okay? So we're gonna be going to the ground, chest tall. Drive the hips to the shoulders, squat, and press overhead. You wanna make sure you're maintaining a firm grip on the dumbbells the entire time. Okay, dumbbell row is the second exercise. You're gonna have your feet shoulder width apart. Hinge at the hips, sending the hips back and pulling the dumbbells towards your rib cage, keeping your spine flat, neck in a neutral position. Then we have swing through lunge. We're gonna be keeping our dumbbells in our hands the entire circuit. Start with your feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go into a reverse lunge, 90 degree angles on both sides. Tap in the middle, forward lunge. We're gonna stay on the right side the whole 30 seconds and then we're gonna switch sides just like that. Now, if you need to modify, a great thing that we're gonna do is a split lunge right here, keeping our feet stationary, moving the knee towards the ground. This is a great option, a more knee-friendly option, um, or if you find that you're struggling with the balance. Another way you can modify that, put the weights to the side and do body weight only. Okay. We're gonna do both sides. Huh. All right. Three rounds of this. We have three rounds of this. 
So let's grab our lighter set of dumbbells for our squat clean to press because we're going overhead. And if that feels too easy, then we'll bump up the weight. Okay? I'm sure I'll be okay with this. <laughs> so we have 30 seconds right here. Okay. Let's get set, feet shoulder width apart. Squat clean to press in three, two, one. Here we go, squat, drive the hips, squat, press overhead, good. Squat, drive with the hips to the shoulders, press over the head, firm dumbbells, or firm grip on the dumbbells, keeping your bicep close to your ears on that press, good. Keep it up. Thought I was done with squats. 15 more seconds. Keep it up, here we go, 15 more seconds. Good. Keep it up, keep it up. Oh. Keep those knees pressed out. We have dumbbell row in three, two, one. Keep those dumbbells in your hand, and we're going right into it, no rest. Rowing towards your rib cage, there we go. Hinge the hips back. Give me a forward lean. Okay, good, here we go. I'm gonna pull your hips back, Shay, okay. into a hinge, forward. Oh, there harder. we go. You wanna be feeling it right here in your lats. That's what we're doing, we're rolling our shoulders back. We're really squeezing our lats right here. Mind muscle connection, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. All right, three, <sighs> two, one. Keep the dumbbells in your hand. Right into swing through lunge, reverse, tap in the middle, forward. Here we go, let's Modified get it. Modified of this is? Modified, should be right here? Yep. Keep this split squat right here. Got it. Right in here at home. This is a great modification that you can do. Again, you can keep your feet stationary. It's a little more knee friendly. You can also just put the weights to the side. Here we go, keep going. What, am ten. I switching legs? We will be in 10 seconds, oh. yeah. So keep stationary on the side. Uh, three, two, one, and switch sides. Good. Let's get, yes, that's great. Good, Shake, keep, make sure you keep that front heel down. Good, there we go. Good, nice depth. There we go. Yes, get that same depth every time, about an inch or two off the ground. We don't wanna be slamming our knee, but we wanna make sure that we're getting full range of motion. We have 10 more seconds. Keep moving if you can, okay? Okay. Right in there. Three, two, one. 30 second rest. Grab a quick drink if you need it. Make sure you're taking a deep breath here. That is round one of three. So now you have the hang of it. I don't know if I do, but. <laughs> you're doing great, you're doing great. We have 15 seconds. How did that weight feel on the first round for the squat good. clean? But for everybody at home, I'm going to show you guys a modified version of doing it with no weights for the next one. Okay. okay. So, I'm going to push you when you can, but it's always important to know where to modify. Okay, let's grab those this. lighter dumbbells. Okay. Squat clean to press in three, two, one. Let's go. 30 seconds right here. Shoulders and drive. Yes. Firm grip on the dumbbells. Press those biceps to your ears. Good, drive the hips, drive the hips. Make sure when you're doing the drive, keep the weights close to your body, just like you were taking off your shirt. There you go, good. Couple more. Four, three, two, one. Keep those dumbbells in your hand, we're going right into the row. Hinge at the hips, pull towards your rib cage. Strong every single time. All right, all right. Good, I'm gonna hinge your hips a little bit more. Okay, Steph? So hinge back, lean forward. Good. So with the hip hinge, what you wanna be thinking about, it's like you were to butt bump the door closed. So you wanna be bumping your butt back, hinging at the hips. 10 more seconds. Here we go. And pull. Five, four, three, two, one. Lunges. Here we go. We'll rest after this, okay? So we have both sides. Lunges, remember at home, do exactly what Shay is doing right here with the split squat. Keeping those feet stationary. Great job. Here we go. Good, you're doing a great job of keeping your chest tall. This is great. Rolling those shoulders back, tall and proud. Good. Shake it out if you need to, then get right back into it. Three, two, one, let's switch sides, here we go. Keep it moving, keep it moving. Make sure you're getting that depth every time, Steph, that's it, right there. 
All right. So what we want to make sure is that we're getting the same depth each and every time. So a full range of motion whenever possible. So you want to avoid half reps like this. And you also don't want to be knocking your knees onto the ground. You want to be getting just about right there. We have less than 10 seconds. Let's keep it up. Three, two, one. 30 second rest, 30 second rest. We have one more round. This is not easy. This is hard. But right here, this is where the magic happens. Because we're utilizing the resistance training. It's gonna help with the muscles, but the way that we're doing it, the faster pace, this is really what gets us the most bang for our bucks. You don't have to be running for 12 hours, but you also get some muscle definition. Oh, yeah, that's what we want. This is hard. We have 10 more seconds to rest before our last round. Last round, last, last round. We can we got do this. it. Last round. Three, two, one, squat. Clean to press and go. Last round, yes, there we go. Let's go. Keep that great form. Make sure you're pressing your knees out on the squat. Firm grip on the dumbbells as they go overhead. Keeping those heels down. This is a full body exercise, guys. This is hitting a little bit of everything. We're getting our quads. You're gonna get a little side dish of glutes. You're activating your shoulders. Here we go. Yeah. Rows in three, two, one. Last set of rows. Oh shoot. This right here, this is really gonna help sculpt that back. So make sure you're giving your all. Focus on rolling your shoulders back. If you notice you're crunching up too much, roll those shoulders back for a nice, strong shoulder positioning. 10 more seconds, give me a few more. Here we go. Super strong, here we go. In three, two, one. Last set of swing through lunges. We have both sides. And then we are done, okay? If you need a rest, count one, two, three, and then get right back into it. One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Here, you know you're doing it right. If you feel it burning in your quads, the reverse lunge, you might feel a little bit more in your glutes. Here we go. Three, Ooh. two, one, and switch. Last, last round. One. Here last we go. One, last one. You got this. Keep it moving, keep it moving. At home, you can do this. Keep it up. Shay, super strong. Drive through those heels. Few more reps. Come on, keep it up, keep it up, Shay. That's looking great. I love how your chest is staying tall, stuck. Here we go, get that full range of motion. A couple more. Three, two, one. Good. All right, we have a quick break right here. I'm going to describe our Focus on Fire finisher. We have four total minutes left of this workout. I'm gonna describe the first two. This is two minutes of constant work, okay? So this is gonna be really tough, but I know that you can do this. What we're gonna start with is a squat hold punch. So we're gonna start with our feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna bend it at our knees, send our hips back like we're sitting in a chair, keeping our chest tall. We're gonna punch straight forward as long as I tell you to do it. So this is where you're staying. You're staying here. When I tell you to drop, you're dropping into push-ups. And I will tell you exactly how many to do. So I'll say something like five push-ups. Then you will go into five push-ups. If you need to modify, drop to your knees right here. Another thing that you can do is hold this high plank, or you can hold a high plank on your knees for five seconds. And then we'll jump right back up to our feet until I tell you to drop again. We have two minutes straight of that. Okay? Now, if, you're gonna, if you know you're gonna drop to your knees to modify, you could grab a towel or a mat. Um, so here in our gym, we have some mats. So why don't you guys go grab some of those? If you're at home, you can grab a towel, you can grab a mat, something like that, to give a little bit of cushioning for your knees as you're doing push-ups. Oh, thanks. I want you to try and keep moving the entire time, okay? Okay, yeah. All right, so let's stand to our feet. At home, stand to your feet with us. We're gonna start with our squat hold punch. All right? This is like a good like fat burner, right? Like this oh, yeah. is like a good... That's okay. why we're gonna keep okay. moving, keep up the intensity. Okay. Okay? Let's get started in three, two, one, and squat and punch. Right in here, right in here. Send those hips okay. back. Okay, okay. 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 Chest tall, okay. chest tall, just like this. And give me three push-ups. Drop into those push-ups. This is a moving plank right here. If you need to drop to your knees, you can do that as soon as you have three. 
back on your feet. This is our home base right here, right here. Here we go, here we go. Keep going, keep going. And four, give me four push-ups. Here we go, four, good. Give me that full range of motion, core tight, glutes tight. Ugh. Keep it up and right back to home base. Punch, 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 let's go. All right, let's get our hips lower. Hips low, chest tall, just like this. Ooh. Ooh. Harder, right? Hips low, chest tall. I'm taller. <laughs> Shake it up if you need to. And five, give me five push-ups right here. At home, give me five. We are halfway as soon as you have five. Get back into home base, here we go. You're gonna feel that burning in your quads. I want you to keep perfect form the whole time. Drop those hips, drop those hips. Here we go, we want to be right in here. Here we go, right here, right in here. And give me three. Let's go. And back up. Here we go. At home, keep it up, just keep moving, keep moving. Here we go, a few more, a few more. Drop those hips. We have 30 seconds left. Come Keep on, moving. Let's go. 30 seconds. Four. Here we go. On our push ups. And back up. On our push ups. Push ups are moving plank. Core tight. Glutes tight. The entire time. Here we go. 10 seconds. And three. Let's go. And up. Three. Two, give me a couple more. Two, one, oh. and done. Oh my gosh. Amazing work. Oh. That was two minutes of straight Ooh. work. Quick break, I'm going to demonstrate oh. our last circuit of the day. We have one more. We're gonna do two more minutes of work, two more. We're gonna start with a high plank hold reach. For this, we're gonna start in a high plank, shoulders stacked over our hands, core tight, glutes tight, feet together. You're gonna alternate, reaching forward, now, if you have trouble holding your body weight, you can just hold this plank right here. Another way to modify, drop to your knees just like this, or you can hold the plank right here. When I tell you to jump up, you jump up into squat jumps. So we're gonna jump right in here, landing softly each and every time. Now, to modify, we can go into a squat to toes. This still is an explosive movement, but it's a little bit easier if you have bad knees, um, and like I was saying before, if your neighbors don't want to get mad at you, um, you can also just go right into air squats. Last two minutes? Uh, last two, last two minutes. minutes. Last thing. two minutes. This is our last thing, we're gonna cool it down. We can do it. Okay. We can do it, last Two thing. minutes. Last All right, thing. so last we're gonna thing. start on the floor for our high plank reach hold. It's only two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Let's get started in three, two, one. Here we go, right in here. Another way to make it easier, a little more stable, you can widen your stance. The more narrow your stance, the harder it's gonna be. Again, you can drop to your knees as a modification. What we want to avoid is our hips rocking back and forth. We want to stay straight as an arrow. And jump up. Give me three squat jumps. Uh, yeah! Uh, there we go. Three. As soon as you are done, back into that high plank with that reach. Here we go. And jump up. Give me five. Here we go. Push each other. Five. Reach for the sky. Land softly. Here we go. Here we go. Okay, back down, back down, and let's reach. Super strong core. We won't dawn on it. Be rocking back and forth. And up. Give me six. We've got six. Send those hips back. Explode. Land softly. You need to modify. Go right into those toes. A minute left. A minute left. All right, come on. Here we go. Keep it going, keep it going. And jump up, give me two. Okay, only two. You notice your form starting to break down. Let's go. One. Drop into that modification, two. going through your toes. You can do this. A few more seconds, few more seconds. Here we go. Up, give me four. Four. Come on. Yes. Let's go, let's go. Four. We have 30 seconds Three. left. 30 seconds two. left. Two. One. Here we go. 30 seconds left. Let's go. Oh. Keep it up. Yes, keep those shoulders stacked over the hand. Bring it back right here. Yes, yes, Shay. At home, keep it up. We have less than 30 seconds. We have 15 seconds left. Let's go, keep pushing. And up, give me three. Three. Okay. Yes. 
Two, oh. three, down. Last one. Last Five. One. Last one. Four. <sighs> three, two, one. one. Oh. Yes. And you are done oh. for the day. Shay, Steph, amazing work at home. Amazing work, Steph. <sighs> Oh my gosh, that was great. I can't even find your hands. We're just like, <laughs> high fives everybody. We did, we did it. Yeah, make sure you shake it out. Walk around, catch your breath if you need to. Mm. That was a really intense finisher. Yeah. But what I loved about what you guys did, you kept pushing yourself, you were challenging each other, and that's the beautiful thing, even at home, you have us to be able to challenge yourself. So, right. guys, I'm so proud of you today. Thank you. It's good. <sighs> I feel good about that. Me we too. Did it. We did it. Yeah. 30 minutes ish. We, did it. we got it. Yes. Now we're good. All right. You feel ready to cool down? So ready. Yeah. All right. Let's bring it to the floor. We're going to do a 90 90 okay. kneeling. So I just want your legs at 90 degree angles on both sides. Once you're in that, I just want a little bit of a forward lean so you're going to feel that stretch in your hip flexor and in your quad. Okay. Then when you feel stable right there, give me a little reach. To the side, you're gonna feel a stretch in your lats, in your shoulders. We did a lot of full body movements. We did some strict uh, lower body, some upper body. So we wanna stretch everything out right now. <sighs> Give me one more breath right here. <sighs> and switch. Again, same thing. 90 degree angles on both sides. Give me a little bit of a forward lean and then reach. So this workout today was a little bit higher intensity than yesterday, yeah. right? Yeah. But that's, that's on purpose. Like the point of that is to be able to focus on building strength, but then also getting in that high intensity cardio. Right. It's a lot more effective to do it that way so you don't have to be working out for so long. Go ahead and slowly come out of this. We're gonna be moving to the floor for an active hamstring stretch. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna lay your back flat on the ground, keep one leg straight, and you're going to grab lightly behind one knee keeping your uh, upper leg straight right here, and then you are gonna alternate, bringing your heel towards your butt, and then full extension right there. Really focusing on stretching that hamstring. Now for this, you want to feel a nice stretch. You want it to feel a little bit of tension. Tension is okay, but you don't want it to feel painful. So you don't have to get the full range of motion if it feels painful. All right, slowly come down from this, and let's switch sides. Really focus on your breath right here. Help bring your heart rate down. Great, give me two more breaths right here. Good, and then slowly come up when you feel ready. And we are done for the day. Shay, Steph, everyone at home, amazing work. You guys absolutely crushed that. How do you feel? Feel good. Yeah. yeah. That was intense. It was intense. So something that will be really important is focusing on recovery. So, you know, we, we worked out hard yesterday. We worked out hard today. So it's really important to make sure that if you feel like you need a little bit more stretching, we take a little bit of extra time to do some stretching, do some mobility. Make sure you're drinking lots of water, fueling yourself with lots of nutritious foods. All of those things are really going to help you be able to rebuild, repair, and just restore your energy. So for tomorrow's workout. All right, everybody. Amazing work, Thank amazing you. work. Thank you. Good Thank job, everybody. You. Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Oh, wait. Let's go. go. <laughs> and that is day two. Bow, bow. Yeah. Okay. Now we are officially now done. done. <laughs> Today's workout was a little bit spicier than yesterday's. <laughs> it was a lot more cardio based. I feel more reps faster, like that. Finisher at the end was very challenging, but great. This workout is what I need to work on because my endurance is not great. So like that kind of workout is the one that I really need to practice. And, yeah. like, but the facing, like when we were doing the squat jumps, like facing, you know, totally us helped. and like you guys at home facing the screen and like just doing it with us made the world of a difference. I'm so excited by the end to see you just like jumping through the ceiling, like taking over the world. You get a lot of height. I always like, I'm like, dang, I gotta get. Oh, sick air over there. Oh man. <laughs>